We all know the impact of technology on the business. What's less discussed is how new technologies and digital evolution inflects the IT department. They also need to change and adapt for the business to fully benefit from digital evolution. The question is how that should be done. Uh, for digital IT departments, they should reconsider their IT operating model. Today, I talk with Marijke de Jong, our specialist on IT operating models. Marijke, welcome. So first off, how can you tell IT is not fully adapted and equipped to new technologies to fully realize the digital ambitions? Well, how you can tell that IT is not enabled to a digital evolution is that you hear remarks like IT is never delivering on time. Um, I have a good idea for an IT improvement, uh, but I don't know who to involve to get the decision making or uh, who to uh, find someone to actually implement it. It's always a struggle to get things done. But also things like business is concerned that IT is lacking innovation or uh, lack of uh, flexibility, you no know, custom orientation. And also uh, a good sign is that uh, when you see how IT is organized, if it's heavily organized in silos, you see that the resources are not cross-shared between the teams and hence missing out uh, opportunities of scalability. Okay, so why is it important to reconsider your IT operating model to realize your digital ambitions? An IT operating model is a blueprint for the IT resources and how they are organized. Um, it defines the way IT organizations operate and the way of working. Um, how it is governed, uh, the roles and responsibilities, what kind of resources and capabilities you need, the processes, but also how it all, how it all relates together and to uh, ensure that IT uh, meets strategic objectives of the business. An IT operating model is not a static thing. It's something that should evolve, just like business and technology evolve. And what you often see is that um, IT departments make some changes to the IT operating model, but they overlook to uh, to oversee the whole. And so they make minor changes, and as a consequence, because it's not uh, all the re relating parts are not taken into account, it's not delivering the value that the business is expecting. And to give you an example, uh, what I see often at clients now is that they uh, start working agile. So what they do is they uh, implement uh, some agile teams, and then after a while they figure out it's not really getting the uh, they're not getting the benefits that they expected from those teams. But what you see is that um, the teams are there, but their surroundings is not organized. Um, yeah, so the decision making is still the same, or uh, roles and responsibilities are not clear. Yeah? The, the product owner does not really understand their role. Uh, but also processes like the handover between uh, the uh, development and, and operations is not defined. And so you have all those related aspects that are not taken into account, and that's the reason why IT is not delivering the value that the business expects. Okay, so in your vision, what are then the key aspects an IT operating model should entail to really enable this digital evolution? Yeah, I think an, uh, a future-proof uh, IT operating model that really enables that is um, basically solution-oriented. It should be product-centric and capability-driven. And with solution-oriented, I mean that uh, it, it should match business solutions instead, instead of focusing on technical artifacts. Also, as business and IT get more and more integrated, um, the best way to organize is in a product-centric approach. Because in that way, you organize IT and products and platforms, which are centri centrally steered, um, and they are governed jointly by business and IT. And that gives you the opportunity to stay close to the business roadmap, and it helps you to adapt and innovate more quickly. And then the last one, cap capability-driven, it's about the capabilities you need to actually uh, yeah, deliver what business expects, and to organize it in such a way uh, that you also can reuse the capabilities across the different teams and so that you, can be uh, that you can scale your delivery. You talked about the importance of an IT operating model. To make it a bit more concrete, as a company, when should I reconsider my IT operating model? Yeah, of course, we spoke about new technology and uh, an agile uh, way of working, but also think like, uh, okay, when you start working agile and you want to move to DevOps, that's a, a good point to reconsider, uh, but also maybe uh, less obvious things as uh, budget cuts, cuts that need to take into account or uh, business IT alignment that's not going as expected. Yeah, uh, that's a bit the key items to think about. So in conclusion, why should you reconsider your IT operating model? These business results come from simultaneously transforming your technology and your operating model. 
So whenever there is a change in the way of working or a new technology, take time to reassess your operating model so uh, to ensure that IT really delivers the value that business needs. Thank you so much for your insights today. And if you would like to learn more about this topic, please reach out to us.